another local story, the shooting of Sheriff Big John Williams of Lowndes County. He was shot and killed at a QV gas station in Haville, uh, Haynaville, Saturday night about 8 p.m. So after a four-hour manhunt, the suspected shooter, which, I mean, he's confessing, so we can pretty realistically say that he's most likely the shooter, William Chase Johnson, 18, turns himself in at the same gas station, so actually goes from the gas station, and then they find the guy, and then he returns to the gas station. They don't really know exactly how all that took place or where that he went, but that's all going to be under investigation. The really strange part about this is this 18-year-old that shot the sheriff, he is the son of one of Sheriff Williams' deputies. It's really strange. And we're not real clear on motive yet. I guess we'll probably find that out in the next few days. But Sheriff Williams is somebody that I didn't know about him or was not aware of him before this story broke. But I am really fascinated by this because he seems like the kind of guy that everybody liked and was well loved by his community. This is a statement from Sergeant Stephen Jarrett, who works for the uh, for for Leah, so he doesn't work directly under, or didn't work directly under Sheriff Williams, but he knew him. He says, It's always hard to see a fellow law enforcement officer lose his life, especially in this manner. Just something so silly. But Big John Williams was known by people all through the state and probably neighboring states. He was just a great guy. He worked 24-7. He was always willing to help. The citizens here loved him. It just couldn't have happened to a nicer person or a better law enforcement officer. And that seems to be pretty along the same lines as everybody else and, and what they've said about him. He was a Marine, well-loved by his colleagues. People in his community praised him. He won his elections by a wide margin. And this is another statement that was put out by the Attorney General's office, Steve Marshall. It says, quote, Tonight, Alabama mourns the loss of another law enforcement officer in the line of duty. Lowndes County Sheriff Big John Williams died from gunfire while responding to an incident in Hainanville. Sheriff Williams devoted his life to law enforcement. He gave more than 40 years to public safety in his home county, serving the last 19 years as Lowndes County Sheriff. His dedication and experience are irreplaceable. Sheriff Williams was the fifth line of duty off uh, death of an Alabama law enforcement officer to gunfire this year and the sixth to lose his life overall in the last 11 months. Serving the public in this role of a peace officer is a difficult calling, fraught with peril, yet thankfully many Alabama men and women choose to answer the call, oftentimes putting their own lives in danger to protect us. It simply cannot be said enough that we owe these heroes our gratitude and our support. I know all of Alabama, all Alabamians join me in passing along our condolences and prayers to Sheriff Williams' family and the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office. You know, I think that around this time of Thanksgiving, it's really, really important for us to be thankful, not only for our material blessings, but also the people in our lives, and sometimes people we may not even know. People like Sheriff Williams that protect us on a daily basis from dangers that we're not even sure how they're protecting us. Now, obviously, in some ways, if, if we call a police officer and they come and help us out of a situation where we're in danger, it's obvious then. But whether it's our first responders as police officers, firefighters, paramedics, they all are willing to give up time with their families time with their loved ones to help us out on Thanksgiving, and I am incredibly grateful for all of them. In many of their cases, their service is heroic and self-sacrificing. And I am grateful for them. And when it comes to Thanksgiving, it makes me think of one other thing. You see, a couple of years ago, I lost my great-grandmother, literally just a few days before Thanksgiving. I want to say it was no more than about two weeks. I don't remember what day Thanksgiving was on that year. But I do remember that that year it was incredibly difficult on me and my family because she had been the matriarch of our our family for, I mean, decades at that point. 
she was just so instrumental to my family and meant so much to us. It was really hard that first Thanksgiving and that first Christmas after she passed, especially because it was also fresh on our mind and also because every year we had gone over to her house for those events to celebrate. She was always the one that hosted it. The woman had about 30 grandkids and she bought Christmas presents for every single one of them. She didn't have a lot, but she was a person that was very generous with what she had. And losing her around that time was incredibly difficult. And what I'm thinking about now is the Blanchard family, who have recently lost a 19-year-old daughter. And they're going to have to go through this holiday season without her. And that is not going to be an easy thing. And the family of Big John Williams, having to go throughout their Thanksgiving holiday and their Christmas holiday without a father, without somebody who I'm guessing was either the patriarch of the family or somebody that was very instrumental in the family. You see, at this time, where we're all celebrating and being thankful for things, it's 100% appropriate to be grateful for the meal that we've been given. It's grateful to, uh, it's a time to be grateful for the things that we have, but be grateful for the people in your life because they're not going to be there forever. And there will be a thanksgiving that will come for most of us, one after this, if we don't pass from this world before then. For most of us, there's going to be a thanksgiving that's coming up that's going to be a little harder to be thankful and a little more difficult to really be in the spirit of Christmas because those people aren't with us anymore. So let's be grateful for the time that we have with them. I know it's one thing that I intend to be grateful for this holiday season. Oh, hey. What are you still doing here? Video's over. I'm off the clock, so go watch another one of my videos or something. Or better yet, you could subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. And if you do that, then you'll get a notification when I actually am on the air and you can watch me then. In the meantime, I'm going to take a nap.